national importance, along with four other NIDs in the country. And I'd like to thank the Honorable Minister Sri Piyush Goyalji for this, Madam. As is mentioned in the bill, the NID at Amrauti, a region which I represent in this house, has already been established in 2015 and started its academic session from Nagarjun University in a temporary campus. A 50-acre plot has been given to the Ministry for constructing the required infrastructure for hostels and other facilities. But the point is, it was promised that academic blocks, hostels, and staff quarters would be completed by June of this year. Now we're at the fag end of the year, but the required infrastructure is still at an ascent stage. This is resulting in a lot of inconvenience to students as they're not able to take up the planned activities. My next point is that if you look at clause number one in the bill, which deals with the short title and commencement, it clearly says that this act will come into force on such date as the central government may, may by notification of the official gazette appoint and different dates may be appointed for different provisions of this act. Madam, I'm not able to understand exactly what this means. Does it mean that whatever degrees and diplomas are issued by NID Amrauti are valid only after gazette notification under this act is issued? Is a big question, Madam. Because NID started its academic classes in 2015 in Amrauti. And if I'm correct, the fifth batch has joined. This means that at least one batch has passed out with degrees and diplomas. The question I would like to ask the Honorable Minister is what is the fate of these students who are issued these degrees and diplomas? How are the degrees and diplomas valid when you're giving legal backing to NID Amrauti prospectively? And it is clearly indicated in Clause 1 of this bill. I, want, I would like the Honorable Minister to clarify as to what will happen to the degrees and diplomas issued by NID Amrauti so far. Madam, if you look at explanations to clause number seven of the bill, there is some confusion. The first explanation says that this act is deemed to have come into force as far as NID Ahmed Ahmedabad is concerned from September 2014. But when it comes to NID AP and the other NIDs, the explanation too says that the commencement of this act will come into force as and when the provisions of NID come into force. It means it will come into force only when notification is issued, as is mentioned in Clause 1. So I want to ask the reasons behind this discrimination between NID Ahmedabad and the other NIDs in this country, Madam. And what will happen, again, as I mentioned, as I asked earlier, to the degrees and diplomas issued by NID AP so far. Finally, Madam, Mr. Shekhar Mukherjee, the director of NID Amrauti, has rightly said that design is neither a decorative art nor is it about technology or fashion. Design is an attitude, a way of life, and is not exclusive but inclusive and should always be human-centric. But if you look at design education in our country, it is still at the rudimentary stage as it is a new subject for our country. It is surprising to note that we are still at an ascent stage in designing in spite of having such a rich treasure of arts and crafts when compared to the Western countries. So I would like to know from the Honorable Minister, how can we connect our talented artists and artisans with students of design to create a new Indian renaissance of design and to make India the design hub of the world? Secondly, Madam, there is a PhD program in NID Ahmedabad, but in NID Amrauti, there's only a bachelor's and master's program in design. So I would like to know from the Honorable Minister, when is he going to introduce the PhD program in NID Amrauti? And, uh, Finally, Madam, before I conclude, the Honorable MP from YSRCP spoke about Amrauti, and I need to respond to that. I would like to thank, first of all, I'd like to thank Sri Amit Chaji and Sri Kishan Dediji for responding to my zero-hour submission last week, where I pointed out that the capital of AP, Amrauti, has been left out of the polit political map. Within a day, this was correct, correct, released and corrected. So I'd like to thank the Honorable Ministers, Madam. But Madam, in Amrauti, 9,000 crores has already been spent to build the city. Another 50,000 crores worth of projects have been stranded at different stages. The election promise of Sri Nara Chandra Naidu in 2014 was to build a capital as great as Singapore. And Singapore was brought in to help us develop the master plan. Foster and Partners, known for their iconic Apple headquarters in California from London were brought in as architects. The NID Amrauti was also brought in to work along with these world-renowned world architects, and they are richer for the experience, Madam. It's ironic 
that the Honorable MP from YSRCP is talking about design when all they have been done since coming to power is only stopping and destroying what has already been built. Thank you, Madam. Thank you.